Was mindfulness drummed into you as a child, as it was to me? Mind the steam, mind the gap, mind that sharp, you'll cut yourself. I think we need more of that sort of mindfulness, frankly. Forces us to stop, think and go carefully. Now, in the self-care world today, uh, mindfulness takes on a whole different realm of introspection, not thinking. In fact, you'd be able to talk about what you're not thinking about. Centred, self-first, self-care, so that this body and mind and soul can engage meaningfully in the world. Super important, right? Absolutely super important. But there's the narrow focus, self-care. Then there's the sustained focus of mindfulness as we engage in a complex world, right? It's super. There's all sorts of things going on, volatility, wars and, and the like. But when there's mindfulness, it's really about thoughtfulness. Do we see the systemic nature? Do we have that awareness? Do we feel a little more at ease with complexity because we've been mindful of the consequences? Do we feel a little more centered because we're working artfully together with others? And that we're coming to these things with truth, beauty and goodness. And there's a whole lot of dangers in that. But the question around mindfulness and how we hold these two states of mindfulness together is are we stopping, even momentarily, thinking so that we can go carefully? Now, when my brother uh, first joined the Navy, he was a quartermaster gunner and he was drilled extensively, as you might imagine, in handling high explosives. But they had a saying, right? It's safe until you forget it isn't. And I wonder if we need to drill ourselves in mindfulness, being more aware of the whole that we're interacting with and mindful of the consequences for planet, for people and for prosperity. So let's value mindfulness more and take that little moment to stop, think and go carefully. Let me know what you think about mindfulness. Drop a comment below and I'll look forward to talking to you again next week. Take care. Bye bye. Be mindful.